So I have here the new Duck Hoyer Connected 2020. Let's see what it has to offer to a watch aficionado. <laughs> In 2019, 69 million smartwatches were sold in the market and the Swiss industry only sold less than 21 million units. But by 2023, it is estimated that there will be 109 million smartwatches sold in the market. So that's by volume the most important category in the market. And that's why some Swiss companies want to be there. But Having learned from the quartz crisis, they do not want to fight the smartwatch in their, in their ground, which is selling cheap, but they want to make what they know how to make, which is luxury watches. Dachoya has been in this fight almost since the beginning, and it is in 2020 that they have come up with, the, I think, the best of them all. Also, let's not forget that smartwatches started selling cheap, but now they start in the 500 to 1000 euros and even more, uh, which means that people want inside that niche, they want a better watch, a more luxurious product. And that's where Dag Heuer can play its part very well. So what does this Dag Heuer Connected offer to all of us that like watches? Well, to start with, what you get here is a very Dag Heuer Carrera feeling with the shape of a Dag Heuer Carrera with the same case and the faceted lugs and uh, two pushers that remind you of a chronograph, but they are very well shaped, so they go smoothly with the shape of the case. Although there is a version in titanium, the basic version of the Dag Heuer Connected is made of steel and with its diameter of 45 millimeters and 13.5 millimeters in height and a weight of 110 grams or 180 if you choose the metal bracelet, the watch when you put it on your wrist feels like a watch. It has weight, it has a presence on your wrist which is far apart from the plastic feeling of many smart watches. The heart sensor which is at the back does not protrude and when you put it on the wrist you just don't feel it and that together with a black ceramic bezel and a sapphire glass gives a whole sensation of being a proper watch. There's no feeling of program obsolescence in this watch. The touch of the pushers and the crown is solid. It does make you feel like you're using a column wheel chronograph actually. And that's very good because that adds to the feeling that this is a well-made product done by a luxury watchmaker. The watch is waterproof up to 50 meters, which allows you to run in the rain or to swim, for instance. A mechanical watch seduces us because of the dial and so does a smartwatch. And in that respect, Dag Heuer has it very easy. They just needed to offer us the Dag Heuer dials and that is what we get in this connected watch. One of the dials has a Hoyer 01 chronograph appearance with three sub-dials at 6, 9 and 12. The date is at 3.30 and it also adds a power reserve indicator between 1 and 3 o'clock. In this case the sub-dials are not used as a chronograph but to select applications that later we can start by pressing on them. The second dial is a digital racing chronograph, which also includes date and a power reserve. The colors are bright, very 80s, and remind you of the connection of Tahoya with motor racing.
There's another dial that is purely digital and it's called Orbital. There's another digital screen that follows the pattern of the nanograph tourbillon. When you look at the tourbillon through the microscope, you see the nanotubes, the carbon nanotubes, have a hexagonal shape. And that's the shape that is replicated in this dial. Finally, there is the dial inspired in the Hoya O2. Here, the subdials can have traditional hands or apps. If you choose the traditional hands, the dial does not behave like a chronograph. You cannot push the pushes to make it work. If you want a proper chrono, the watch has a specific app for it, which is much faster and more intuitive. One of the main uses of smartwatches is sports and Tag Heuer loves sports. That's why they have developed their specific apps for sports. For instance, they have one for golf, which is very important and is unique because it has all the golf courses. You can follow the track in the watch and write down all the activity, which is also stored in your phone. But Tag Heuer has also developed a complete sports suite that will be continuously expanded and that is complemented with the connected app on the phone, collecting all the activity data. This way it creates an immersive environment in which the user does not need to leave the watch phone duo to find their personal information. This has been a personal effort of Frederic Arnold, who is Tag Heuer's new chief strategy and digital officer who knows very well that in order to succeed, the watch must offer an immersive experience under the Tag Heuer umbrella, thus creating loyalty to the product. And there's also health apps, which includes one that I really liked, which is only for breathing. It just helps you relax throughout two minutes of proper breathing.
Since the watch is controlled by Wear OS, the operating system created by Google, although it connects perfectly with iPhone, you can take advantage of all that through the microphone. You can call OK Google and uh, you can have Google Pay and Maps and translators and all the applications and, and also download more if you want to. Spotify. Since the watch is an electronic device, all the specifications are very important, and here they are. But since it's an electronic device, what you want is that it works fine. And that's what this watch does. There, there is no lag, there is no thinking time of the watch. Everything goes really, really smooth. And that's fantastic because that's what we're used to these days, right? The watch is presented with different colored rubber straps or a metal bracelet and all of them are very easily interchangeable because the way to detach and insert the bracelet or the rubber strap is very easy to use. And there's also a titanium version with a black DLC coating. The basic version costs 1,700 euros. If you want it with the bracelet, the price is only 1,850 euros. And if you choose the titanium version, the price is 2,250 euros. Let me finish saying that if you want to give it a try to these smart watches, but you want a watch that feels like a watch, this is the right option because it does feel good wearing it and using it. Don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed this video, to subscribe to the channel and to click on the bell to be notified when there is a new video on the channel. Thank you for being there and I'll see you in our next video.